All right, so I'm starting off the day with adding some paint to the dry lip system and also adding paint to this because that will be seen. So let's go ahead and add some paint to that. Get another layer of paint on the boat. All right, so we just got another layer of paint and it is starting to look really good. All the cracks are starting to disappear. So we're starting to get the second layer of waterproofing done. There is no cracks in between all these lips. This crack right here, in between the two pieces of angle, it's bigger, so it's taking a little bit more coats to fill up, but we're slowly getting there. And these rivets, those may take some more paint as well to cover up, but uh, I'm not too worried about the rivets. I just want all these cracks filled, so it is completely waterproof. It's starting to look like one solid piece, which is awesome. So now that we got the paint done, well, that layer done. We can move on and finish the front decking. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? So in the last video, we got all of these frame supports cut out and placed. Here is how that's all looking. So today I want to actually go through and get all of these connected to the frame. So that way they don't move around or flop around or anything like that. But I cannot get my drill in here, under here, because it hits the floor. So what I'm going to have to do is rivet these two together and then put this down and rivet this one along the back side here. I can get my rivet gun in there and it's still tough, but it's doable. That is secured in. It's still a little wobbly, but once I get all the decking in, I will get everything riveted together, and that is when all of this will get super stiff. So I'm just marking where this needs to go, so when I take it all apart, I can put it back together. I love smashing my fingers. It's really easy to smash your fingers with this thing because when you put a rivet in a hole, you can put pressure on it because it's all connected, right? So you're putting all this pressure on it and then once you squeeze the trigger, that connection breaks off and you're like, Psh, smash your finger. It feels amazing. Best part of building John boats, love it. Fit check. Oh yeah, nice and tight.
there is all of this side connected besides the front <laughs> all right so to attach this side i cut out seven of these pieces of one inch angle i drilled a hole through each side and I also bent it so it matches perfectly inside that corner so we did that for each one and over here i already got one installed just to test it out but uh that is how I'm going to be connecting these braces to the frame. And then over here, I probably need to do this first. I need to drill a hole into this and then go from the underside, drill up into the square tubing and then rivet that into place that way. So I need to go ahead and drill these holes out first before I uh, get them all secured down. So let's go ahead and do that. There's already a rivet there. Yep, let's take this one out. So this one will just share that same hole with all of this. So we can go ahead and attach all of these. I already have this one ready to go. I'm going to drill these two on the chest cam, get them attached, and then we're gonna jump over to the time lapse. Get this done quick. All right, and that is how I'm going to be securing these into place. Very nice, very nice. It's funny, all these uh, bars right here sound like an instrument. Not that one, because it's now secure, but the loose ones, they all make a different sound. Okay, so I just ran into a problem. So I was able to get all of these done like that, but I cannot fit my drill under here. So what I'm gonna do instead is use some three quarter angle. I'm gonna do the same thing down here, but with the angle, I'm gonna put a piece of angle right here and then just secure it down that way. Right, so there is the second side all attached by the way I also got it all vacuumed out looking good in there so that will get dropped into place here yeah there's that so far so now what I need to do is get some support here before I do that I should probably run the wiring and do all that fancy stuff so there is a wall right here there now you can see it a wall right here and this wall I just slid in it isn't screwed in or anything so first off I want to drill a few holes and then get some rivets into this wall so it doesn't move because once I start drilling out a big hole down here that's just gonna rattle and shake and vibrate I needed some light so I went ahead and put the freaking Sun over there Jesus Christ I think it's bright I'm gonna have to run all the wiring and my plan is to use this pipe so this pipe is left over from all the rod locker pipes so i got some 90 degree elbows here it will be over here in the corner i need to drill a hole through here stick the pipe through there and that will leave me a piece of pipe coming out through here it will come all the way up here and then at this elbow it will turn this way come over here and there will be another elbow here and this is where all the wiring is going to run out so i will have 
all the wiring up here once we get ready to actually run all the wires they will be right here and not buried under everything so that's the game plan now we just have to execute it so first off let's drill a hole in this wall that stuff gets hot all right we have a hole so now we can shove our piping into that hole I left it off the edge because this rib is right here so I'm hoping it can just go right in and still be butted up close to the wall I probably could have gone closer but close enough so there is that sticking through now and honestly I'll probably just stick on this elbow so it doesn't come back through and that will keep all the wiring in that spot elbow looks a little funky down there but I may uh, change that out to something else to make it where it's just a hole in the wall and not a whole elbow but it will do for now so now we need to cut a piece of piping about oh, here to make it in the center of the boat shove it in the pipe oh yeah that should be good good enough come up there so there is the pipe right there all connected and once again this is just a passageway for all the electrical wiring so up here I'm gonna have headlights fish finders nav lights the trolling motor all that good stuff all that stuff has to be wired to the batteries so batteries here and there all those wires are gonna have to come through here through this PVC pipe and come out right here and I need to do that now before I place the deck on or else I can't do it so I probably have to drill a hole right here in the decking for all the wires to come up but once again this will all be covered by the top deck so you won't see that the top deck will have little bitty holes and grommets where all the wiring is going to come up wherever it needs to be but I may need to order more wire but I do have a lot of it we'll see so this is 14 gauge marine grade wire so basically I'm just gonna run it through we're gonna need a lot too because we have so much stuff up here oh by the way this pipe is one and a half inch schedule 40 if you're curious what I need to do is figure out how much I actually need I would want it to be able to come out of the pipe in through the floor and then I want it to be able to reach any direction meaning if I want to run the wire this way it can reach if I want to run it this way it can reach as well okay so that is how much we're gonna leave sticking out that needs to go down into the pipe come down here and then to go through the wall the battery will be right there so my original plan was to have this hatch here for all the electrical the, the switch panels the fuse blocks everything like that to control all the lights and whatnot it's right by me where I sit but to do that if I want the fuse block over here I would have to run all the wiring all the way to the back but if I put a fuse block up here I could have the fuse block on this wall here and all this wiring will only have to run to this but the thing is is also I have a bunch of wiring coming from here for the lights in these hatches the nav light the fish finder and transducer I have back here all that runs up here as well so I could do a fuse block back here and then a fuse block back here for all this stuff or should I just run all this wiring here to the front to this fuse block four electronics coming from the back okay so instead of putting the electrical panel and all that stuff here it's now gonna be in this area here I'm going to extend these wires here over here because they pretty much already reach instead of having to put all this front wiring which is gonna be a lot all the way back to over here so that's the game plan for that I may divide this box maybe here or so 
battery, electrical, divider, storage, storage. So that is the quick game plan for now. Uh, just so I can keep going with this wiring and get this front deck done. So we're gonna give that much wiring. I'm going to cut this. And this piece here is going to be what we use to measure the rest of the pieces. All the wiring from the front needs to be this long. So let's go ahead and cut another one. Headlights, that's four wires. Fish finder, six. Nav light, eight. The cup holder I have has a light in it, 10. So there's 10 wires so far. I believe the trolling motor, yeah, the trolling motor is gonna have its own wires, bigger gauge wires, but everything else can be 14 gauge, which is what this is. So, so far, 10 wires. If I run two fish finders, oh boy, I'm probably not going to, but if I do, that's 12 wires. So, so far we have 10 wires, maybe 12, but I'm gonna go ahead and run probably like 15. So I'll have three extra connections in the pipe in case I ever want to add anything down the road. So that's three whole extra connections. I'm going to keep track of this and how much I cut. I may add more just in case, but uh, the more I add now, the easier adding stuff in the future will be. But I'm definitely going to need more wire. I'm going to have to go get some tomorrow. No, that sucks. If I don't have the wire, I can't freaking continue this. I really wanted to get a lot done tonight. If I don't have the wiring, I can't. And I know for a fact I'm not gonna have the wiring. Dang it. We'll get what we can tonight. Call it a wrap on this video and then continue tomorrow with more wiring. We got four pieces of negative wiring to run through. Like I said, we need, oh, 13. Well, guys, sadly, I need to run to the store and get more wiring tomorrow. So I can't really move on. To finish the front deck, I needed to add three more braces and then shove all the foam in and then just add the top layer of sheet metal. But I can't do that until I have all this wire ran. So we'll have to finish that tomorrow. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The wire is coming out, guys. That means the boat is almost done. Once the wiring is done, well, maybe the foam. Foam might be last, but wiring is one of the last steps usually. So get the wiring done, get the foam done, and then the entire boat is done. It's gonna be crazy. But we're also, once this deck goes on, I'm taking this bad boy out to the lake just to see how she floats and play around with some batteries, see how they float inside the boat, mess around with the weight placement and uh that's gonna be awesome i'm excited for that i hope you guys are too but i'll catch y'all in tomorrow's video peace I